ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries of the People's Republic of Will's Pub. Hi, my name is Mark with a C. I'm an interactive singer, songwriter, and storyteller. And as of tonight, I am 20 fucking years old. <laughs> You won't be jumping out of your skin forever Pretty soon the jitters have gotta go away Things can't always be so damn untethered Pretty soon it might just be okay Though it's tough to say since it sounds so cliche Like a rhyme scheme that goes a a a you can use this song like lingerie You can stain it up once and throw it away But one of these are gonna be your day So look at your pulse and really think about it Just a few beeps and then a slow decay Now you can search in vain for angioscopics but you're more than just an alphanumeric display Though it's tough to say since it sounds so cliche Like a rhyme scheme that goes a a a When Gilmore led the Floyd Brigade They still had on the turning away So one of these are gonna be your day It dawns on me, if I'm turning 20, technically this is my fucking day. Most of what we know is temporary, just a few sleeps and the back dwindles away. Or you can search for islands that you don't get, or you can be your own Daniel Faraday Though it's tough to say since it sounds so cliche Like a fine scheme that goes a a a If you're in a hole you didn't make Well maybe it's just special K But one of these are gonna be your day One of these are gonna be your day There's five bucks in my pocket now, what can I do? I'll find the nearest thrift store and I'll start to peruse Through those used records, all of those vinyl memories Well, they might be all scratched up, but they still sound good to me Now you might want the latest Eminem CD But I'm gonna settle for King of Rock by a Run DMC It'll run you twenty dollars for some April Levine But for a dollar I'll take Tapestry by Carole King I like music on records the best Yeah, and once you get the fever it's a never-ending quest I like music on vinyl the most Let's go retro lo-fi from coast to coast But if but if but if but if but if but if whoa Got me there, that's true. But it's not the way that I prefer to jam out to the who. Take that live Nirvana record, for instance. It even comes with an extra track. Cause Kurt knew rock and roll sounds better on 12 inches of wax. But I like music on records the best. Yeah, and once you get the fever, it's a never-ending quest. I like music on vinyl the most. Let's go retro lo-fi from coast to coast. But if it is you say you don't have a record player? That's no excuse. Mark with a C knows where you can find one of those fairly cheaply too. So if you're sitting at home and you're all alone and you've got that certain itch, don't forget the other kind of hard and black 12-inch 
Cause I like music on records the best Yeah, and once you get the fever, it's a never-ending quest I like music on vinyl the most Let's go retro though, five from coast to coast Everybody sing! But it, but it, but it, but it, but it, but it, whoa, oh But it, but it, but it, but it, but it, but it, whoa, oh But it, but it, but it, but it, but it, but it, whoa, oh, oh One more time, just you Let's go! Thank you so much for coming to the show tonight. Now, the Obscurity Show, that was something that I really sunk, sunk, sunk myself into. And that was to tell our story of hope. Not just mine, our story of hope. Tonight, well, tonight's about the fucking songs. So I am going to play a lot more songs than I do in an average show, but I'm not gonna tell nearly as many stories. And if I do, they won't be very long <laughs> because we have a lot of fucking ground to cover. I will say up front, it makes me feel so good when you guys sing along because it reminds me that people hear this stuff that I make up in my garage. And if you hear anything you like, well, feel, feel free to cheer, even if it's inappropriate. I am used to inappropriate woos in my shows, I gotta say. See? And uh, secondly, if you uh, hear a song that you know and you feel moved to do so, please sing along. That's pretty much the beginning and end of my requests for the night because you came and you attended. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. This song is the sec, the, I believe it's the second song of mine that someone got the tattoo of the title. This is from the album Unicorns Get More Bacon. This is anything but plain. Girls like a pinup girl that you'd see in magazines. Not like in Penthouse or Playboy or Hustler, more like the ones from the 50s. If you ever saw her change, well, you probably think so too. But you'll never watch her change or we'll get mad at you. My girl just made popcorn and a glass of water too. She's watching me write the song that I'm singing now for you. If you ever saw her change, oh, you're trying to steal her away. We always take for granted what our mates do every day. When they change their clothes, when they put on pantyhose, when they ask your opinion on the outfit that they chose, you should not refrain. Take the time out to explain that they're beautiful and she's anything but girl likes this song and she's laying next to me but she's also barely dressed so I'm gonna wrap this up quickly I just love to watch her change I like to check out all her curves and you next time your mate is changing take the time to find the words when they change their clothes when they put on pantyhose when they ask your opinion on the outfit that they chose you should not Take the time out to explain that she's beautiful and she's anything but, anything but, anything but plain. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna tell a whole bunch of stories tonight, so instead of telling the very long story that I always have to tell before this song, instead I'll make it very short tonight. One, this is not from my perspective. Two, it is written from actual fucking words that came out of somebody's mouth that number three, it's probably eligible to be in the Guinness Book of World Records 
for most holes punched in drywall ever. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries of the People's Republic of Will's Pub, this is Amy, it's Kevin. <laughs> How we get this far apart It's only three miles via car And we only talk through voicemail nowadays But you're screening all your calls And we used to shake the walls But I miss you at Orlando Magic Games While you're sleeping with the door guy Why won't you pick up the telephone? Look, you're not getting this ring back. Sure, I had problems with my dad, but I'm getting better with my therapist while you're sleeping with the door guy. Some crater face named Duffy that stole your heart. But I got a job at Q96 and I'll be beating strippers off with a stick. I'm so glad Q96 doesn't exist anymore. Because now we can't find me. Uh -huh. Now I call you twice a day. Sometimes you just say, hey, I bought your pills at the Orlando Magic Game. The cats and I miss you. And when you're stripping days are through, you'll wake up. To the truth. But for now, you're sleeping with the door guy. That crater face named Duffy who stole your heart. Cause I got my job at Q96. Soon I'll be beating strippers off or vice versa. That was a joke about the strippers giving hand jobs. Probably to his penis. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear the phone? I think that might have been her. I'm gonna call just in case, but this is the last fucking time I call. Yeah! Every year we do a holiday show. And in those holiday shows, they usually tend to be marathon shows. This will not necessarily be a marathon show, but uh, I did want to at least address the holiday thing. So if you guys don't mind, uh, instead of peppering holiday songs all through the show, I'm going to play the entire holiday portion right now in about seven minutes. <laughs> Roughly, don't time me. Jordan, the sound man, is just going to, like, just cut everything. All the power is going to go out. It's going to be like Stardust, if you remember that show, where we were all dancing and, yeah. Okay. Um, so, happy holidays, and I still think it's way too fucking early to even be doing this shit, but thanks to Will's Pub, we can have a holiday show at all. So a big round of applause for Will's Pub. Will's Pub, and that door and what it says, that's why we're here Thank you, Will Walker, for what you do for the community. Come on, we all remember this holiday classic, right? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it, you'd say it glows <laughs> All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names They'd never let poor Rudolph join any reindeer games Ooh, 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 ooh
let him join in any reindeer games. Consent. So I contact in your consent. You don't have to spend a dime on my presents. Cause this year has been really hard. And so has my northern star, which is a terrible name for my wing. But I want this year to go out with a bang. Get it, I said bang. All I want for Christmas is a blow job. I don't even care who it's from. And if I got my holiday flow job, all ye faithful will come one more time. All I want for Christmas is a flow job. I don't even care who it's from. And if I got my holiday flow job, all ye faithful would come. And every day could be just like Christmas. Now, in the least likely segue ever, One. Well, it's freezing in Florida. God, how I miss you. It's freezing in Florida tonight. Oh, it's freezing in Florida. God, I wish I could just sleep next to you tonight. Well, there's frost on the window right next to the pillow that smells just like your hair. Oh, it's freezing in Florida right next to Georgia, but it can't be much colder up there. Because I don't mind if it rains or it freezes, you're under the blanket with me. The thermostat's reading about the here I could probably sleep But it's colder than kissing A pissed off ex-girlfriend With an empty space next to me Oh, it's freezing in Florida And I can't find slumber without you holding me Rock! It's not that much rocking This bed's totally different with your body in it Even when there's frost on the ground Oh, it's freezing in Florida The heater is broken, yet you are nowhere to be found You know, I don't mind if it rains or it freezes You're under the blanket with me The thermostat Here I could probably sleep But it's 
so much. Now, I would like to invite to the stage the rest of the Mark with a C trio. That means Jim Myers on the drums and Emmett Dahman on the bass. It's going to take me just a second to get everything set up. Let's get ready to rock. say boo or woo and I don't you're gonna give one of them a complex <laughs> you know that's the way to my heart Simpsons references only to the heart no other body parts but the night is young I would offer you this one, but... And we're, uh, we're gonna share a set list tonight, because I, I gave you one, but I don't know where it went. Okay. Well, there you... There you go. But none of you peek, all right? Please. I got an extra one. You Unless you're already on LSD. Well, you need the set list too, Jim. I had the one you gave me earlier. Oh, shit! How Okay, the bass works. Uh, you want to double check and make sure everything's right? All right? So now, I was kind of my own opening act. That's true. I opened for the Mark with a C trio. Now, I'd like to introduce the Mark with a C trio. Here we are. And whenever they tell me they're good, then I will start playing the first song that we're gonna play together. But I have a, there's a whole big part where they don't do anything. <laughs> Sorry? I agree, especially these guys. They're the best parts of the Mark with a C trio. Wow, Emmett, have we ever stood this close on a stage? Like, I am definitely gonna kick you. It's going to be an accident, but I'm going to definitely kick you. You good? Yeah. You good? All right. I'm good, then. Let's play this fucking song. <clears throat> Introducing myself properly. Hello, it's nice to be here. I've been pacing backstage. It's actually a lie, there is no backstage. But I made up these songs, and I chose to play them here. I can only hope you like them. How am I doing so far? You see, my songs are like my kids. I have a fuck ton of them. And some are kind of cool, others are just assholes. We used to clap and cheer when people would sing up here. But now sometimes we've gotta do this while you look at your cell phones. They said an artist needs a patron And unicorns get more bacon But they cheer the loudest for what I like least So I thought that it would be fun To get you on my side up front So what I gotta know is are you with me? Well it's real good to be here Especially after your response Cause at this point in my career I'm surprised there's an audience all look really nice Have you been working boots? I just sing out like a Canadian What was that of boots? Now a little about me I've made records and CDs For the last 
20 years in total obscurity But did I mention that I'm happy to be here? Cause I'm totally not pandering And we're gonna get shit started But first some honesty Cause an artist needs a patron And unicorns get more bacon But they cheer the loudest for what I like least So I thought that it would be fun Get you on my side up front So what I gotta know is are you with me? Good, it's time for the bridge So here's the bridge It's a pretty good bridge And Jim agrees It's pretty good It's time for the third verse Which some say is the most important Now me, I don't subscribe to that theory But for y'all, I'll try one But I'm out of ideas So I hope you get the point And thank you for your time Let's fucking enjoy this Oh, and an artist needs a patron And unicorns get more bacon But they cheer the loudest for what I like least So I thought that it would be fun To get you on my side up front So what I gotta know is are you with me? Now what I gotta know is are you with me? What I gotta know is are you with me? Doesn't happen all the time, but it's fitfully here. It's not every day nor every week, it's just a couple times a year. But the irregularities come with Socratic irony. They sometimes come and they sometimes come for me. It's lucky every couple months. About a fortnight In case you're keeping score I can say with authority Despite the lack of consistency The sometimes come And the sometimes come for me Make reparations just in treble a little bit because it was really fucking bright up here. <laughs> um, not talking about these lights up here. I'm talking about these lights. 
So there have been a number of Marvin C. tattoos, and this next tune, I think this was either, I, I don't mean to be, sound like I'm patting myself on the back for this one. I, I don't know how many are out there now, but I can say for the next song that the person that definitely has it is on this stage and it's not me. I don't have any tattoos I can talk about publicly, but one of us has a tattoo for this next song. But at the very top of the show, I did tell you I'm an interactive singer-songwriter and, well, we gotta get to some interaction now, don't we? So, thousands of years ago, we were created by a giant squid. His name is the Great Squiddy. The Great Large One had to fight the Megalodon so that we could all be free. And as you can see, by the way, 2019 has panned out. That didn't work out so fucking well. But still, I give praise to the Creator. And I would like you all to give praise to the Creator. The best way to do this is every time I sing the line, Squiddy, 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 rock and roll, you put your hands in the air like this and do what's known as Squiddy Fingers. It looks really cool when you all do it at the same time. So when I say Squiddy, 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 rock and roll, you're gonna do this number right here. It's gonna happen a number of times during the song. This is a song about my spiritual journey to believe in the one true Creator and frankly, it makes about as much sense as any other religious text, so let's fucking go. Once I was known for slinging bean pies I needed a way to offset my Russian ties And the body of Christ was making me feel like a cannibal Though when he is leavened, he's oftentimes delectable
outro. Cause then I could do something besides Watching this old beat up TV Well now I'm stuck in bed What in blazes I can't wait until I'm not contagious When I get better I'm gonna play With my Star Wars guys outside Sick of soap operas in the daytime And always smelling like calamine And the itching does I wish my body were made out of dirt and everything else. I'm stuck in bed. What in places? I can't wait until I'm not contagious. When I get better, I'm gonna play with my Star Wars guys outside. Thanks to how pitiful I look, your mom keeps buying me coloring books. But when I get better, I'm gonna play with my Star Wars trifecta that all has something to do with each other. Any guesses yet? All right. I'm glad we had this talk. But I'm glad you're all here. Sincerely, I say this pretty much every show and uh, it doesn't stop being true. I write these songs for me, but I put them out for you. And the fact that it even matters to this many people, that's a good reason to go on. Thank you for that. <clears throat> and now, I've asked for your number, but please let me explain that I'm not looking to date you, I don't think of you that way. Now, sure, you've got nice looks and a clear teenage complexion, but I'm just calling you because of your record collection. Whoa, just Nice to look. 
give a big round of applause to my favorite drummer in this zip code and in this band. Really, he's seriously one of my favorite drummers in the fucking world. This is Jim fucking Meyer. And ditto for this person right here to my left and your right. Did I do that right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so he was a mere teenage Mark with a C fan. That is the one stringed guitar that he made in tribute to the retro lo-fi compilation. The rest is fucking history. Please give a warm round of applause to my favorite bassist that I've ever played with, Emmett fucking Dobbin. And now, what I'll need you to do is clap your hands and beat to the music, yeah. Okay, but stop, because now I have to sing and it throws me off, thank you. I'm not looking for a date, I just heard that you got stellar taste. I'm not looking to be your mate, I want a high speed double your bootleg tapes. You got the complete five at least, and seven those import CDs. I don't care about the birds and bees, nor getting to know you biblically. You say you like the violin. Jonathan Richmond, the modern lovers were his first band, but you swear you never heard of them, which means that you have never heard their classic debut. Well, Jessica, I'll copy it for you. I want to trade tapes with you. I want to trade tapes with you. Sounding okay? Do you want us to keep going?
the record it's in one key, we play it in a different key, that's all. Explanations, right? But there is an explanation of this song. And I told it actually um, at a show it, at, that I played at, uh, what's that place called? Shit. It's inside of Sleuths on Idrick. Thank you, the garden room. You were there, it was great. We should all go back. I mean, after this, because Wills is fucking rad. There was a, a period where I was working in a liquor store and this cat who I don't even, I don't know for sure if he knew that I was a musician or not, but he, uh, he worked at the car wash across the street every day, came in for his Novocaine, um, of like 10 to 15 shots of black velvet every morning. He was waiting there when I unlocked the door every morning. But one day he came in and he, he was like genuinely ecstatic and he was showing me pictures. And he's like, my band played the first show. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know you were in a band. What do you do? And he's like, I'm the drummer. And so get this, after I dig enough, but I don't find out everything. I find out that he's been in the same band since middle school and they've been working on the same 11 songs or so since middle school, which are half Kiss and half Leonard Skinner songs. That's it. That's all they wanted to do. The s they kept the same fucking lineup and rehearsed until they were good enough to get a gig. They got the gig and then he drank himself to death in the parking lot. And I said, no, no, no. Nobody is gonna remember that persistent, loyal, damned and determined individual as some fucking lush who died in a parking lot. They're gonna remember him as the goddamn musician he fucking was. And this is the song that I wrote in tribute to him. This song is called Drunk Classic Rock Fans. <laughs> Breaking all the rules, fucking shit up old school. I work down at the car wash. I drink each day at work. A few shots of black velvet, and I get the cars all wet. I'm a drummer in a local cover band. My mom wants me to move out of her garage this year, but she don't understand that I make the audience cheer. Rock and rock and motherfucking roll. Hoist your beers in the air. Slaves in heat, and we don't do drum solos, but that wasn't up to me. I think our singer is a genius in disguise. We've been at it since discussing his back in junior high, and he's just like Jim Morrison with a beer got to match. He can sing like Axl Rose, just watch the audience clap when they sing rock and rock and motherfucking roll. once said that there's nothing sadder than a 40-year-old drummer in a local cover van. But nowadays, old Hank can only sell his records to aging punkers that still sport their black flag tattoos who won't admit that now their tattoos are looking really dumb. Cause whenever we play Skinner, all the hipsters sing along and they say, rock and rock and motherfucking roll. All of my journey decals And the drumsticks that I once had Signed by Mr. Peter Chris I'm not looking for Miss Right, but right now I take a near miss 
Cause things get pretty lonely here In my mom's garage And drunk classic rock bands only Take a man so far So rock and rock so much. We're going to play a, a slow song now. So, a couple skate. <laughs> I know what the makeup of my fan base is. Triad skate as well. <laughs> DS Dynamics skate. <laughs> Brat skate. I'll, I'll stop in a couple minutes. Um, no, that's, that's pretty much it. You, you can get your fill at the woodshed. They, yeah. Why are you awing? It's wonderful that a place like that exists for people that want to go to the woodshed. Why would you aw? I'm happy the woodshed exists for the attendees of the woodshed. I need to shut the fuck up because that is not a lead in to this song. This song's very fucking serious. This song is the first song anybody ever got a Mark with a C tattoo of. Now, why that was important to me was because I wrote this song very early on, and when I would play it in my shows and people were just projecting on me that I was nothing but a comedian, people would throw shit at me when I would throw th this into like the set list. They'd be like, no, that is not what I came for. And now, it took till like 20, 2009, 2010, the moment that a young lady was old enough to get a tattoo they decided they wanted the title of this fucking song tattooed on them. And then that started this domino effect where other people got tattoos. One person has a, a whole verse written in my handwriting right there. Um, a person who's very close to the stage and I don't know if they wanna be singled out. They also have a music and heel tattoo. This song, frankly, I thought that I'd fucked up when I wrote it because people were throwing shit at me. And then 10 years later, you all showed me that I was on the right path the whole time and that I need to just do what comes naturally. When I say I couldn't have done this without you, I mean I could not have done this without you believing in me. This song is called Music Can Heal, and I hope you like it. We all heard that story of the sad clown wants everyone to smile. I think I'm kidding, but you didn't really listen to my songs. Cause I got a soft spot, but in a kitty cat with a broken leg. I forget I'm allergic. I take it home and pet it, nurse it to help at my own expense and sing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll pay attention to the little things. And now I'm falling behind the big picture of life. I've been ignoring things of importance. Now who's gonna fix me? Who's gonna fix me? Someone sing me a song.
single crayon in the box. I'll get my car keys. We can find a lake and stay around the evening while playing on a blanket. It don't take much more than hello, how are you? Just a simple phone call. We don't have to make love. Just hold me tonight and let me bomb your cigarettes and sing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Someone sing me a song for once. Make the pain stop. Make me feel like I'm wanted. Tell my daughter I love her. If the hurt gets too much and I try myself to death. All these pills I've been taking at night make my heart sing. But they're keeping me alive. They ain't got nothing on a song. Music can heal. Lyrics can kill. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Now we still got a ways to go. There's two things I want to tell you. I wasn't one of them. Although if, um, if anybody has a sealed thing of water that I may not knock over, I would love to have that to refill this. Okay, so the, the things that I wanted to tell you are, one, um, if you've never seen a Mark with a C show before, Okay, um, rant's over, thanks. <laughs> if you've never seen a Mark of the Sea show before, they're often much longer than you anticipated, but I still somehow don't get around to playing all the shit that you came to hear. So, uh, pretend this is a DVD, and you're done with the movie, and you want bonus features. I'll say goodnight, you've been a wonderful crowd, all that shit, even if you haven't been. You totally have been, and I know you'll continue to be, but come on, just for consistency, I'll say goodnight or something of that nature and then you yell for bonus features and then we'll come back and pretend that it was all not planned. Okay, that's number one. The second part is that for a number, a, a couple of years now, people have been going, Mark, what the fuck's going on with you not playing old songs? And I'm going, define old. I don't, it depends on when you started listening to me and stuff. That's, I don't know what's old to you and what's new to you. I don't know these things, but Chronologically, that song is very old, and you're gonna get four really fucking old songs right now in a row. So those of you who won't stop inboxing me to play my old shit, these four songs are for you. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, water. Do it, Slushy. Oh. We love you. We can pour it into the thing if you want. Oh yeah. Could you? that will electrocute me if I do that? Yeah. Like, this is cool. I got bottle service at my own fucking show. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to watch this. <laughs> I, I know that 
one of them's going to be very upset if I start this next song while they're doing something, so. <laughs> Well, I can't tell you, then it'd be spoiled. Oh, okay. Emmett is taking pictures of this. It's wonderful. Take pictures and then you tell me what. That's very cool. Jesus. Keep going. You're too cool. If this is anybody's kink, you're fucking welcome. the Gene Simmons moment for the night. And now is the point in every show where I say, I've seen a lot of girls out along the way and I've checked them out back and forth, to and fro, hither, thither, near and far. All the live long day, but Mark with a C just loves him a girl with glasses. They don't always accept my sensual passes, but it's true that I love girls with glasses best. That might just make Mark with a C prejudice. I wrote a song about it. Would you all like to hear it? Yeah! Here it go. I raise my eye just to inspect her while she adjusts her pocket protector. There's nothing wrong with a nerdy girl. She's the kind of lady that I'd like to make, but she's busy thinking about anime. Lord, there's nothing like a nerdy girl. One, two, one, two, three, four. She's a fan of Toby Amos, trying to be cool just like John Stamos. There's nothing wrong with a nerdy girl. She don't drink no gin and juice, but I imagine her in her own. Oh, and nerdy girls are sweet, nerdy girls are hot. A nerdy girl knows what kind of ice cream that I want. Oh, but she reads books that I can't pronounce, but in a way I'd like to announce that. Boy, there's nothing wrong with a nerdy girl. She could bring out the best in me, but I'm busy checking out her pair of bees. Boy, there's nothing like a nerdy girl. Oh, and nerdy girls are sweet, nerdy girls are smart. A nerdy girl can straighten out the wheels on my mental shopping cart. Go! Lenses, climb over those tired fences, put on your glasses, be a nerdy girl. Oh, and nerdy girls are cute, nerdy girls are hot. A nerdy girl knows what kind of hand tie that she wants. Nerdy girls are sweet, and nerdy girls are smart. A nerdy girl can straighten out the wheels on my mental shopping cart. But she don't drink no gin and juice, and I imagine her in her underoos, cause Lord, there's nothing like a nerdy girl. I'm going to set the feel for this song. Here are two songs from my very first album. By the way, it's Emmett's fault that we're playing this. He said, you cannot do this show without playing this song. You're welcome. So Emmett gets all the applause for this song. And Jim, of course, because he's great. All right. Got a crush on a girl named Donna Pinciotti. And I want to take her home and play a badass game of Yahtzee. Her real name is Laura, but I just want another chance to not make so much noise next time I'm going through her trash. I'd make her a bowl of soup just to hear the girl say thanks. I bet any amount of money that she shags like a manx, but I'm just a normal guy. I'll never get the chance to undo her polyester blouse and get
just got a tattoo of your name across my scrotum And if you don't like these songs, we can pretend I haven't wrote them We can dress up like Kiss, I wouldn't mind Kabuki makeup We can talk about Eric and all the things that cause your breakups And I even loved you in those stupid Gap commercials And if for a second you might allow me to get personal I kept a used tube of lipstick you once threw away So now I'm gonna clone you using your lips DNA Oh, Laura, I need medicine Laura, be my Vicodin Laura, you're my demo raw I wanna wash you down with alcohol Laura, be my Embutal Laura, you're my two and all Laura is my bag of red, so Laura, you're my favorite redhead. Years ago, I had this stupid fucking idea to have a hip-hop alter ego, but mostly it was a joke about the fact that I really don't have any cadence or flow or anything like that, and that was supposed to be the point, but uh, that joke was lost on everybody, so they kept asking me to do this stupid joke, which was called Mark with a dollar sign, when it absolutely should have been called Mark with a cent sign. And it would have been Mark with a cent sign, I just didn't know how to find the fucking cent sign on the computer, and somebody showed me once, and then I completely forgot. Anyways, Mark with a dollar sign has one problem, Problem. He sucks. He doesn't have any original ideas of his own. He only steals other people's shit. You guys always want to hear him, so here he goes. Okay, here's the situation. My parents went away on a week's vacation and they left the keys to the brand new Porsche. Would they mind? Hmm? Well, of course not. Cause you can rock it like the synthesis, but even in a genesis, it's really quite ridiculous electric hobo. So now you know. Not the fuck a weep a wobble hot rod gang. Revelate a big bang. You can't with this hobby nuts is over but the house is the rising tongues don't flat the flat be apples cause it's gotta be done but whenever you wobble the weebles you know they get ticked off in the season of the weeble sticking evil in your ear in a pile of manure put a lies in all your fears a yabba dabba do all the way to shangri law check it out hearts rock and go out long. and a question crossed my mind replacement lyric is totally kid safe. Laura, I need medicine. Laura, be my Vicodin. Laura, you're my demo raw. I wanna wash you down with alcohol. Laura, be my Nembutal. Laura, you're my two and all. Laura is my bag of bread. So Laura, you make me wanna do a key change. Laura, be my name, you talk. Laura, you're my two and all. Laura is my bag of red, so Laura, let me give you head. Now, here's one other old one. This is the title track to my first album, Human Slushy. Shows, so you'll already know that you 
you can't get into that phase And you can't keep her up You broke up your fan But she's lonely And that's the trouble with things You never thought she was this kind of man But she's calling just enough to keep you guessing And saying just enough to make you want her Just keeping you from getting anything done But he's trying to see you bring your own heart Enough to make you want her Just keeping you from getting anything done With each fantasy Well, she's calling just enough To keep you guessing And saying just enough to make you want her Just keeping you from getting anything done With each fantasy you bring your own hurt Thank you. for a second. This is more work than it appears to be. <laughs> Athletes train us. We're just like, fuck it. We'll rehearse. That's as far as we're going. We won't even stretch. <laughs> oh, that's not the guitar tone for this song. I wrote a book. It's called Maybe It'll Be Good. My Life is Mark of the Sea. Roughly 75% of the book is basically telling the story behind this song. No, I'm kidding, but it does take pages upon pages to explain the story behind this fucking song. But I used to introduce it as, this song is about the most fucked up person I've ever met and the worst fast food restaurant I've ever been in. And boy, that is only the beginning. I cannot wait till you guys actually fucking find out what this song is about and just how fucking literal it really is. This song is called No London in Brazil. She's not addicted to drugs, she's addicted to ice water. She could drink it all day, it's how she chooses to bathe. Rinses out cups and leaves a little bit of soap behind. It's antibacterial, it's cleaning out her insides. What have I become now? I'm feeding her chicken. This gotta stop, we gotta think of the children Her feet barely work, she can't pedal her bike We watch movies under the blanket The night she had her eyes closed and her face hidden She laughed before the jokes were even written She don't like coffee, she chugs the cream She buys Slurpees for the undercover police And it's true, I ran away from your button face I was hoping that your type was just a phase There's no London in Brazil Please forget your love me, go away. Please forget your love me, go away. Braids her hair by tying it in knots. Left her first husband cause she hated doing the dishes. Pours ice water into small plastic coolers. Saves up late just to memorize the Simpsons at a zero to her age. And then you'll realize of what she knows, man. She don't like coffee, she chugs the cream. Buy Slurpees for the undercover police It's true I ran away from your button face I was hoping that your type was just a phase There's no London in Brazil I think you're mentally ill Please forget your love me, go away Please forget your love me, go away Gave herpes to the 
starts with D <laughs> or has a D somewhere in it and someone just decided because you've been in 2019 you know that the rules seem to no longer fucking apply to anybody for anything I am scared shitless to even be saying that no it's not QAnon no okay I'm gonna stop no this Tonight is a fucking politics-free zone. We are here to distract ourselves with entertainment. Thank you for distracting me as well. Normally I tell a very long story about this song, but I'm pretty sure you guys know it. The short version, my wife's playing video games. She says the greatest, greatest quote in the history of anything ever spoken, which is, And then she followed that up with the greatest sentence to ever follow up any greatest sentence. It's about to be Dick Puncher 3, the dickening in here. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries of the People's Republic of Will's Pub and Mark of the Sea, would you like to hear the love theme from Dick Puncher 3, the dickening? Yeah. Jim, if you please. Even the last part. I'm sorry? I, I didn't hear you. Someone said I'm used or so. But I want I want to hear what you have to say. It's a dialogue too, you know. I'm muse? I'm I'm the shitty radio head. <laughs> sorry, that's a joke I really should not have made. I, I really don't want to make fun of another band, and I don't mean what I said anyways. <laughs> but in every Mark with a C show, 
there comes a time for three things that you must remember about Marvel to see. Well, you don't really have to, but this just assumes that I can control the narrative. And since it's the 20th anniversary show, I figure since we're playing a lot of songs that have been played a million times, I should probably give you the exact same tirade that I give you in every fucking show. So here it goes as usual, but the points are still important. Number one, I'm an independent musician, and that means nobody's pulling my strings, telling me what I gotta do, what it's gotta sound like, and that means that I'm fucking broke. And you can change that if you'd like to, I don't know, pick up the book, or we just did this box set, Deedly Bob, or this is important, the, we literally, well, by we, I mean me, we paid the sound person tonight, we paid the door person, we made sure that it was absolutely free for everybody to attend and celebrate. So, sincerely, Nobody up here is getting paid. Um, I'm not concerned about myself because I've got merchandise to, you know, you can take it home if you'd like or listen to me on Spotify, whichever, it's your deal. But um, for example, Jim and Emmett, Crystal Lee and Steve Guerin did not get paid to do this show. There's a tip jar back there and all that money is gonna be divided up for them. So please consider visiting that. Also, I'm broke, buy stuff. Anyway, number two used to be, if you have any Vicodin or Percocet, please see me immediately. Taking the cultural temperature, climate, etc., of 2019, I have a semi-working mouth, a microphone, a wonderfully attentive audience, and that means that I have a responsibility to say, acquiring enthusiastic consent before sexual activity is never merely optional, it is always fucking mandatory, and also, your body and all of the choices surrounding it belong to you and only you, never settle for less, and now if you have any Vicodin or Percocet, please see me after the show, because now my throat hurts from yelling that for the billionth time, but one day, someone will get it. <laughs> see, I know you get it. That's why you're here. I'm not yelling at you, I'm not. Maybe. We've all got skeletons, right? <laughs> I said we've all got skeletons. And this person says, it's how we're standing. <laughs> Just imagine that I'm the gif of the bearded guy in the woods. Going to... <laughs> That's me right now. But I'm not standing. This got complicated. Number three on the list of things to remember about the Recording Act Mark of the Sea is no matter where you go, no matter what you do, motherfuckers be bullshit. When it all gets too much, that's when I need a reminder that it's all a test. If it's all a test, you can say it isn't real, but I can always track you through your web address like a cyber terrorist Everybody's official position is we're safe as we've ever been But I don't believe them motherfuckers be bullshitting Now if you say something online and it wasn't meant for me And I'm caught in it You might say I'm creeping it And that's fair You're the one that typed it out is in everybody's den and everybody's official position is we're as safe as we've ever been but i don't believe them motherfuckers be bullshitting you can't delete a thing these days cause someone has archived it even my regrets are mostly public some fresh air but we're still traceable through your sparkly cell phones but everybody's official position is we're as safe as we've ever been but i don't believe them motherfuckers be bullshitting
let's get interactive again. If you're here, you probably already know this spiel. But just in case you don't, when I sing the line, Derek Jeter, Pumpkin Eater, I need you to respond back in the exact same melody with Stanley Steamer Posture Pedic. In case you're just joining us, when I sing the line, Derek Jeter, Pumpkin Eater, I need you to respond back in the exact same melody with Stanley Steamer Posture Pedic. If I sing it low, you, you get it at this point. Thank you very much for coming for 20 fucking years. But I'll need your enthusiastic consent to know that you're going to join in. And the best way for you to do that is to give me a loud fuck yes. Because importantly, if your answer to anything is not fuck yes, your answer should probably be no. So on the count of three, would you do me the honor of offering your enthusiastic consent to join in with this song? One, two, three. Fuck it's such a fine line between fuck yes and fuck you, but I guess we'll find out which one it is. Derek Jeter, pumpkin eater. Derek Jeter, pumpkin eater. Stanley Steamer, posture Is we're as safe as we've ever been But I don't believe them Mother of God, there's people shitting I can't help but notice looking around the room that some of you weren't singing That's perfectly fine because you can revoke consent at any time That's how consent works But just in case that's not the case that's what I said. I'll, I'll lie in the bed that I've made. When I sing, I want to dip my balls in it, I'd like you to respond back this time with, I want to dip my balls in it. Let's go. I want to dip my balls in it. 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 Well, I want to dip my balls in it. Is we're as safe as we've ever been, but I don't believe them. Mother of God, there's people shitting. journal and then you'll know my pain I'm so low I gotta send out a MySpace bulletin and it's a chain letter and I'll just die if you break the chain But 
I'm a drama queen. The internet's a good way to make friends without ever having to talk to them. Ooh. You've been a wonderful audience, and I need you to help me sing the chorus that I've already sung four times for many, many, many years. But you have to do it in your whiniest 15-year-old voice. Some of you follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Think of my recent postings and do it in that voice in case you're having a hard time remembering how to be whiny. Hey, I ain't wrong. <laughs> I am self-aware, but importantly, I am so fucking thankful for every one of you. Thank you so much. Let's make this sing-along camp. We'll start just like this, normal. We'll do it a couple different ways. Let's go. I'm so two mottos and I want to share them all with you right here right now just in case they might matter to you as well so the first one is I never ask myself who's gonna get this shit because the right people always get it and you are the right people so thank you for having gotten it but then there's those days where you cannot get out of bed and you're like I want to create something but this is not what my parents wished for for me 
my friends will make fun of me. The internet's totally gonna drag me when I go and make this completely innocent thing. Listen, I got two bits of good news for you. One is that you are your worst critic. It's true, take it from me. And secondly, if what you make is rad, they're gonna shut the fuck up. So I offer you, in those trying times, the next time you feel like you can't reach for whatever it is, your chosen tool for your art. Let's say it's a camera. Maybe you use a paintbrush, maybe hammers. Maybe you play music, whatever it is. Next time you wanna reach for it, and you're scared to, but there's nothing to be scared of because your idea might hurt no one and make the world a more beautiful place. Just tell yourself, these four words. Maybe it'll be good. I've seen some great stuff and I've seen some bad. When I die, some will pretend they've always had my back. And I'm pretty hard to pin down, but they'll still exaggerate. While I'm floating in the ether, think about the art that I did not make. Just think about my home state and how they treat me like a joke. But somehow I'd win awards when the people in this room could vote. I don't deserve special treatment, but I really tried my best. And I hope y'all don't forget that moving on what comes next and also please don't let my art die it's about the only thing i did right with my life i tried so hard to be obscure to make the right people smile please don't let my art die It's about the only thing I did right with my life. I tried so hard to be obscure to make the right people smile. Please don't let my art die. Please don't let my art die. Thank you very much. I'm Mark with a C. Have a good night. There's no bass player. We'll play, or drummer. <laughs> Just like I started. Great. <laughs> We've come full circle now. Will somebody please tell me what time it is and be honest about that? 10.29. 10.29? 49. We are right on time so that we can play extra songs. Perfect. <laughs> do you want to do some more? Yeah, there's no door over there, so. Um, it's a crib from Pete Townsend in 1973. Can anybody play the bass? <laughs> Looking in your direction, and how the fuck? <laughs> Listen, in case somehow you're just hearing this on an audio recording somewhere deep in the future, let what just happened be a mystery to you forever. sip of water and then we will play some more tunes for you. Now truthfully some of these are um, well there's a, there's one at least that gets played at every holiday show. It's a holiday show tradition. We can't do a Mark of the Sea holiday show without playing it. But in between are songs that we moved to the encores because we weren't sure how much time we were gonna have. So some of these will excite you greatly. Some of these will not excite some of you greatly. These songs, however, are, if I'm not wrong, pretty much most of our favorites yeah. as a band to play. 
So even if you're not like, shit, Mark, really? Th that's your fucking encore? This is for us. <laughs> this encore set, I mean, you're free to watch, and I'd love it if you stayed. But I'm gonna take this drink of water, and then we're gonna please ourselves. Get your mind out of the fucking gun. <laughs> No, we need eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> Considering that I was in the position of power here on the stage, that just became a very weird dynamic. That's my friend Cat Blackard, producer of Discography and the Nerdy Show Podcast Network, and now Omnivore. Cap, thank you for helping me creep out everybody. Yeah! <coughs> and how many of you came here from work? Okay, how many of you work? Yes, we all fucking work because you guys have seen the 10 year memes. We fucking have to. This song goes out to everybody who has not let go of their childhood dreams, no matter how much work has tried to kick them the fuck out of you. I got a job, it ain't much, but it pays some of the bills. And I got a big boy car that gets this grown ass man around at will. I got a girl, she's not bad. We both look good without clothes And I got a closet full of dockers To fulfill my khaki jones But where's my giant robot? But where's my giant robot? The one I always wanted when I grew up I got a dog and a cat I got two mortgages I got talk about religion a lot. I got a patch of grass to call my very own. I got an HOA that regulates and a garden full of where it will grow. Where's my giant robot? Where's my giant robot? The one I always wanted when I grew up. And right now I've got all the feels Because I even have to sing this song Help me out by snapping, everybody Where's my giant robot? Where's my giant robot? The one I always wanted when I grew up Keep it going Where's my giant robot? Where's my giant robot? One I always wanted when I grew up. Turn the snaps into claps, here we go. Where's my giant robot? Where's my giant robot? The one I always wanted when I grew up. You can sing along too. Where's my giant robot? Sha -la -la -la. Where's my giant robot? Sha -la -la. Where's my giant robot? The one I always wanted when I grew up. Tonight we have covered at least something from every Mark with a C record, except one. Any guesses? No, because it's just not that popular of a record. I, I've got to be honest. 
we haven't played a single song from the album Pop, Pop, Pop. And it happens to be two, uh, uh, two songs from it happen to be some of our very favorites to play. So this song is important to me. I hope you'll like it too. It's important to Jim. Yeah, you guys should check this album out. <laughs> it's 10 years old in like a couple, in about a month. So we're gonna be celebrating anniversaries like every fucking week now. It's gonna be great. Um, you don't mind filming all of those, right? Great. And you guys are gonna come to every one of the shows? Yeah. Uh, wonderful. This is a song called Holly Vincent. <laughs> Banana splits on a Saturday. I'm gonna clean my blues away. The antenna is pointed to the west of the house to pick up all of her stereo sounds. I listen to the radio through it. starting to get tired. The age is definitely setting in. <laughs> it, it, yeah, by, by the time you're 20, it's just fucking over. Right? Oh, well, I guess I can't really ask everybody here that. It was 18 and up, so. <laughs> Sorry to break the bad news to everybody under 21 that's here. that everything starts to hurt sometimes when you're 20. Sometimes everything is wrong. But now it's time to sing along with the second song from Pop Pop Pop. This song is called Fighting for Love. When you open up your robe, I don't know how to respond. I picked out the undergarments that you still have on. What you needed all along Even though I thought that can never be I'm about to blow a brand on the head of security I don't want to fight over the girl in front of me Fighting for love is like fucking for virginity Oh, woe is I 
yet you seem to think that I'm here just trying to pick your thoughts. Well, now I'm pretty sure that can never be because I'm the one begging for release. And yeah, I don't want to fight over the girl in front of me. Fighting for love is like fucking for virginity. Oh, whoa, is I? Oh, poor pitta for me. Fighting for love is like fucking for virginity. I'm ashamed to call myself. Never up to me. Let's go way back again. But it's not the happiest tale. I'm not gonna tell a story before it. The story is told in the song, but it's just not the happiest tale. But we've got three songs afterwards to turn that around. At least three, unless we put down the instruments and you're like, no, we need one more. Thank you for the heads up. You have had the best callbacks tonight. I, I have heard you cut through each time. They've been fantastic. Great job. I enjoy snappy dialogue with you guys. It's not just an act, I really do. Thank you very much. Okay, this song is dedicated to everybody you invited that isn't here. I can't, there's a... Uh, roughly 7 billion people on the planet, and this place only holds like 200, and it's not filled, so. Time to get started! <laughs> Lawrence, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come back. I have to get started. That joke went way too far. Don't let supposed to be a grown-up. What the fuck am I gonna be by 21? There's too much shit I already have to fuck. We just covered that. This song's called Every Single Friend. My parents bought me toys, now I don't have to move out. I talk about St. Louis and complain about the South. I can only keep one friend at a time. I'm every single friend that's ever left you behind. I'm up on all the latest fads. I've seen all the films. I'll tell you about my drug days, yet I still can't swallow pills. When my brother was born, he was dead. You remind me of the brother that I never got to have Besides, when you're out of sight, you're out of mind I'm every single friend that's ever left you behind My girlfriend's pretty smart 
smoking hot flirt with other chicks. And when I go to a rock show, I'm the first to flick my bit and laugh about the band when they go out of style. Well, I'm every single friend that's ever left you behind. Well, I ain't gonna change, no. You're better off not thinking you're the doctor. I won't turn my head and cough. You only got your balls and your wood in this life. Well, I've dated strippers. I've dated whores. I've been with your girlfriend, but I still need more. I gotta spread the seeds out far and wide. I'm every single friend that's ever left you behind. This isn't no confession, man. It's only half true. You know, I would never betray my loyalty. You don't like this band, but you gotta give them a try. Besides, you can choose the music when it's your turn to drive. I'm every single friend that's ever left you behind. just aren't gonna like you if somebody tells you that your words hurt they might be hurt so be prepared for the chance that you're a dick or they just want attention but how did it get this way we're getting closer every day to the thing that we've all gotta face we're all gonna fail in public
That was an in-joke between me and Jim just now. Thank you all so much. I really, really sincerely mean it when I say thank you. It's not just some platitude bullshit while I catch my breath. This is the end of the show. Thank you all so much for coming. I guess if at the end of this cluster here, if you really want to hear more, we did kind of drum up something that you may not expect, but um, only if you want to watch three people. Wait, wait, you have to get through this shit first. We are not even on waking terms with the song. So instead, right now, we're going to play the traditional holiday show closer. And then it's going to move into something else. But before I do that, I want to say a big thank you to Jordan, the sound person tonight, doing a great job. I want to say thank you to Crystal Lee and Steve Guerin for opening the show and being fantastic. I want to thank Will's Pub and everybody involved in the organization for giving us a safe and cool place to do this gig. I want to thank every one of you for supporting me in any way, every time you have ever done it. And finally, I've got to thank my two best buds here, Emmett Dobbin and Jim Myers, the best fucking rhythm section I've ever had. Thank you so much. And now, it's time. A knife. That is a knife. He's stabbing his wife. He's stabbing his wife. Mama's a saw. Mama's a saw. She's sawing off her own jaw. Mom without a jaw. Dad without a wife. They're making awful plans. Y'all get rid of Terror song. Terror song. Terror song. Terror song. A knife. Yeah, that's a knife. He's stabbing his wife. He's stabbing his wife. Mama's a saw. <laughs> She's sawing off her own jaw. Mama without a jaw. Dad without a wife. They're making awful plans. Y'all get cancer. What are you doing? Tear us off. Jim Myers. You know what that means. Bass solo. Have another hand for Emmett Dobbin on the bass guitar. You know what that means? It's time. Pink Floyd solo. Find the lamp in green, a second scene. The fights between the blue you once knew. Floating down the sound resounds around the icy waters underground. Jupiter and Saturn over on Miranda and Titania. You made it true tonight. When I went to bed, my wife said goodnight. I woke up this morning with a puppy by my side. And I deduce I could complain, but I don't have the right. But right now I'm just happy to be alive. I look at all the things I own that I don't ever use. 
And I look at my family and what they put me through And I'd like them to take the time out to apologize But right now I'm just happy to be alive Cause I got all my fingers, all my toes My body's full of H2O I'm getting old some of my hair is falling out Shit, but I'm not saying that I'm perfect I got lots of room to grow I don't mean to sound holier than thou I play songs to one town Then I hardly venture out You people sing the words back to me almost Sometimes I'm embarrassed by my songwriting archive But tonight I'm just happy to be alive Why? Cause I got all my fingers, all my toes My body's full of H2O I'm getting old, some of my hair is falling out But I'm not saying that I'm perfect I got lots of room to grow I don't mean to sound holier than I spent an unexpected night inside a jail It was hard to spend that night not checking my email But I lit up a cigarette and I waved those cops goodbye And right then I was happy to be alive Five more times Right now I'm just happy to be alive Four more times Right now I'm just happy to be alive You can count Right now I'm just happy to be alive Alive. Just you, go! Right now I'm just happy to be alive. And you are the reason. Thank you very much. I'm Mark with a C. Jim Myers, Emmett Dobbin. Good night and thank you for 20 years. I cannot express enough gratitude. Thank you and please give me a safe night. Okay, listen, Jordan, the sound person, is it okay with you if we do one that we are not ready to play at all? Thank you, I was waiting for that. Okay, we'll do it, but I'm gonna take a sip of water. It's not a Mark with a C song. I fucking told you, like, hey, look, be careful what you wish for, but you guys are like, no, do the thing you barely know. Shock treatment. It's not a song from shock treatment. Okay, I damn thee. Uh, do you need me to run through the bridge? Because, well, I'm going to play this song as best as we can with... Uh, Basically because I've been going through it, and if you've been alive in 2019, there is a very, very good chance that you have been going through it as well. We are somehow still here. They, despite all the fucking attempts to take us all out, we are somehow still here and still alive and kicking in 2019. And we used to make fun of this song, but tonight, I fucking reclaim this song from the bargain bin. I reclaim it from one hit wonderdom. I reclaim this song from everybody who has ever made a joke about the group that performed this song. I want you to join in with me in putting the stigma behind us while we sing the song that we probably need in 2019 more than any other. And no, I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> We'll be singing when we're winning. We'll be singing. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again.
takes a whiskey drink, he takes a vodka drink, he drinks a chocolate drink, he drinks a cider drink. He sings the songs that remind him of the good times. He sings the songs that remind him of the better times. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you so much for coming, and please get home safely. Because I want to see you in another year, at least. But maybe in the next 22.